everybody, Alira here. I wanted to do a showcase on the new creature and go over some updates in the game. Let's get started. The Arachu is a tier 4 aquatic carnivore. The species is available in the rotation store. The stored version is available in the shoom shop for 937 shooms. The description states that the Arachus are solitary creatures, usually spending their time in warmer ocean areas or overall bodies of water. Their main diet is smaller creatures and fish. The wiki has no appearance information, but as you can see, it looks like a lobster. These are the default colors, so you see it uses dark, medium, and light blues. It has the two little legs in the front and large claws, much like a lobster. The abilities of the Arachu are bleed defense and bone break. If you do not need an explanation of these abilities, please skip to this time. Bleed Defense. Bleed Defense is a passive ability that allows creatures to resist the effects of bleed. If a creature's bleed defense is 100%, then they are immune to bleed done by melee direct attacks. Bone Break. Bone Break depends on the weight difference between the inflictor and the inflicted as a chance. 10% to 45%. It disables sprint and flight, reduces walk speed by 80%, and if applied to a flyer, it will force them to the ground instantly. When applied through bites, Bone Break cannot be applied to creatures of a higher weight than the player. Instead, ligament tearing is applied. It does not work against creatures with the unbreakable ability when applied through direct contact. Earthquake, and previously Rock Breath 2, abilities are the only ones that can inflict the Bone Break status on creatures with the unbreakable ability. A little trivia. The concept was by Undiri, the animations were by Nimwit, and Arachi is the fourth creature inspired by crustaceans. The animations are as follows. Swim. Attack. I wanted to show you because I really love this attack. I think it's so cute. Sit. I love this sit. If you lay a nest and you wrap around it, I think it's super sweet. You guys know that I love the families, so I really love that. Lay. Aggro. And cower. The calls are as follows. Broadcast. Friendly, aggro, and talk. That's it for the higher tier creature of the week. I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to post anything about the coal ball, which is the other creature released this week, but I have a lot of videos coming out. They're nothing grand, but they do take a lot of work. So I really appreciate your patience. Now on to the updates. There have been some spoilers for the new Trade Realm, which, with any luck, should be coming out next week. Here are some pictures that were posted in the Discord server. These are concept pictures of the trees. And then an actual Trade Realm tree model. It looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I think they did a great job. Now, here are some Trade Realm concepts. And now for Milo's shack. Milo is the NPC that will greet you in the Trade Realm. I believe it's going to be an Icarin, which makes sense. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about this update. If you haven't heard the music for the Trade Realm and you can't wait until next week, See my video called Fleur and Awesome Updates to have a listen. It's magical, I'm telling you. Check it out. Next update. The rotation store prices have been temporarily lowered. There was a release saying that they were being lowered and then another post saying that it's temporary. As you can see, Trifle Grimm said, some other news for you all. 
After some thought, I have decided to lower the rotation store prices. Please remember, this is meant to be more so an endgame shop, so prices are still high for buying creatures compared to gotchas. The new prices. Common is 1,000 down from 1,500. Uncommon is 2,500 down from 3,500. Rare is 4,500 down from 7,500. And Legendary is 7,000 down from 10,000. They did a little bit of a Q&A as well. Some questions were, will this always be an endgame styled store? Why can't the prices be lowered? It's hard to grind for these. Will Rotation Gotcha always have two priority? And why do you spell gotcha as gacha? It looks like gacha to me at least. So the answer to the first was that the plan is for another way to get to endgame content rather than through a rotation store. Currently, there really is no endgame goal, but we are stirring up ideas currently to shift the focus to more interesting things. In short, no. The second one, I get the concerns of people not wanting or not being able to grind hours on end for new content and creatures, but this is unavoidable for now. I am doing the best I can to help communicate more. The third, no, we plan to change it since there are really so many creatures going into the gotcha. This will help cycle creatures and avoid seeing priority creatures for weeks on end. And for the fourth question, the answer is, just like how I spell it potato, you spell it potato. I just spell it differently personally, even if the game says otherwise. Later, another post came out saying here with more news for Rotation Store. Rotation Store will not be keeping these new prices forever. Please keep in mind. These price reductions are considered a sale for the store and will be around only for a few weeks. So stock up while you can. I know you all will have many questions on the decision and will try to answer as best as I can on these concerns. Part of this will be to help people get more into the rotation store and be able to get a few creatures. In other news, look forward to seeing Arachu and Kolval in the rotation store. They will be the new additions added into the store this week. Here are the rarities. Kolval is common and Arachu is rare. Viridex will be taken down to uncommon per popular request. When implemented, Viridex was worth the rare title, hence why it was implemented as rare. Now for next week's plans. Please note that these are not promised or final, and there may be some issues that prevent these things from coming out. We have the new trade map, fully redone trade map with plans for future updates, and the debut of Milo, which I'm really excited about. Food rework, the new food system fully implemented with all the new food meshes included. Easier for herbivores and making carnivores work more for food. Logging penalties, plans for food to drop when people log and lowered age when logging in combat. Reminder that not all of these are final for release this week. We may have to move things around for any needed bug fixes or big issues. Look forward to more awesome pictures of the work on the trade map. We also have a new creature for next week. As far as the logging penalties go, I'll still be logging if I get attacked on a tier five. There's no way I'm spending another hour and a half growing anything that I already have. It takes a lot more time to grow it from zero than it does from 66. That's just me though. That's it for the updates. I'm going to be giving away one of each new creature Arachu and Kolval on September 10th. So make sure you like, sub, and comment with your Roblox user and display. I'll draw the names that day whenever I can and will post the video as soon as I have time. Thanks for watching. Be kind to one another and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.